So I'm assuming you're here because you are interested in camera robots, cinema robots, motion control, all that good stuff. So like a stereotypical white male, I'm just gonna skip the foreplay and jump right into it. <laughs> So here we are, the Motorized Precision Evo Camera Robot. So the first thing I really wanna to touch on, which really sets the Evo apart, is just flat out its portability. And I'm talking like, I drive a Mini Cooper S, and I can fit my entire kit in the back of my car, and that's it, nothing. No cube van, no package truck, nothing. And the robot itself, once you take it off the tripod, only weighs 44 pounds, it's wild. You can even fly with this thing. Okay, payload. Probably the number one question I get, or at least in the top two questions I get is, how big of a camera build can I put on it? As I've said in some of my YouTube shorts, it kind of depends the need for the shoot. I've put FX3s on it, I've put Red Raptors, Komodos, uh, iPhones, action cameras, and everything in between. You can get up to about 11 or 12 pounds to be safe, but you can push the limits to about 15 pounds if you keep the movements pretty simple. And the way it mounts is super simple. There's just an Arca Swiss plate at the top and then you just have to figure out the mounting for your camera and then just locks into place and that's it, you're good to go. Connections and power. Another benefit of having such a smaller robot arm is you only need a wall plug to power it. And I've even powered it off of some smaller electric generators or battery backups and it'll run no problem. And then so to connect the robot to your computer, we have to first plug in the power cable from the base of the robot into what's called the brain. And then there's just an ethernet connection from the brain into your computer. And then this other cable is if you're using manual lenses. You plug into the base of the robot and then you plug the other end of that, which is USB-A, straight into your computer. And what that allows you to do is gives you direct control over the focus motor on the robot. But Connor, you're saying, how do I move the robot? How do I move it around? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can do it in software. You can physically move the robot. Third and last way to do it is my favorite. And basically the way to do it is with this guy, Xbox controller or any gamepad really. And because Xbox, PlayStation, any kind of game controller has so many buttons, you can move every single axis, roll, tilt, forward, backwards, up and down, all completely on the controller, and also set your keyframes and skip through the timeline. It's really, really, really cool. We've set up the robot, we've connected the robot to my computer, but how do you actually make it tick? How do you make it move? How do you do anything? Well, that's where MP Studios comes in. So MPS is Motorized Precision's custom software, which really makes these guys stand apart from everything else. But once you get the hang of it, using MP Studios is actually super, super easy. It's literally just keyframes. Move the robot to one point, make a keyframe, move it to a second point, make a keyframe, and then hit play, and there you go. You have a robot move in like 10 seconds. Now, obviously I'm oversimplifying it, it gets spectacularly complicated and you can do so many things. Those will come in later videos, but at its core functionality, that's how it works. Now I do wanna mention there is six feet of track coming soon. As you can see behind me, the robot's currently just sitting on tripod legs, but once we get that six feet of track, it's then gonna be able to move frontwards, backwards. The moment I get that in my hands, you know I'm gonna be making content, so stay tuned for that. So what's this robot for? Who's it for? What's it for? Where does it thrive? What kind of jobs can I bring it on? So where the Evo really thrives is in tabletop video. So if you're doing product, you're doing food, you're doing close-ups with talent, handling objects, all that kind of stuff. It's also a really good option for lower budget productions. Those bigger robots, you can end up paying five to $10,000 a day, plus a prep day, two people. It, it can get really expensive really fast. But with this guy, I can just show up, be set up in 20 minutes and ready to go. And speaking of cost, let's talk about it. I'm transparent, let's talk about it. People wanna know, you could probably Google it, but hey, I'll give you the real numbers. So for the robot, the few mounting plates that go on the robot so you can mount your cameras. The focus control or fizz unit, there's a one channel or three channel fizz. I just work with the one channel fizz for the moment. And then of course, you've got the software. Otherwise, how the hell would all this stuff work? And when you purchase any motorized precision product, you get added into a Slack channel. So you get to talk to the developers, you get to talk to Sean, you get to talk to other people in the community. So you've got this really nice hub of knowledge for, with owners across the entire world of various motorized precision products. So it's, it's really, really helpful and just makes you feel, makes you feel so welcome. 
and cozy. But that's it really. That's the motorized precision Eva robot. If you have questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I will be making more in depth videos on how MP Studios works, how to keyframe moves, how the focusing moves, 3D targeting and all that kind of stuff. That's more than I can tell in a single video here. So there will be more content coming. So stay tuned for that. But once again, just wanna thank you for watching. My name's Connor, motorized precision Evo robot. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.